if you're looking to visit, visit this stadium. They got it figured out here. It's more than a buzz. Ryan Denny Stadium. It's electric. Here comes the tie. What's up, everybody? Time for another game preview and score prediction. It's time the Tennessee Volunteers versus the Clemson Tigers. And I'm going to be watching this game and being very attentive. <laughs> because guess what? It don't matter who lose. I will be clowning the loser. But let's go ahead and get into it and talk about these Clemson Tigers, who we all know they starting quarterback has entered the transfer portal. All right. So uh, anyway, matter of fact, I think he already found another damn home. But uh, he was in the transfer portal, and uh, they'll be going. Clemson will be going with Cade Klubnik, which uh, Uncle Lele he had got benched for Klubnik uh, a couple of times this season. So I guess that's why he decided he decided to find him another home. But anyway, uh, so we ain't going to talk about uh, DJ Uncle Lele. We're going to talk about Cade Clutton, who's got a uh, <laughs> – he'll pass for 377 yards and two touchdowns, one interception. You know, you know, most of his time was garbage time, but he did get some meaningful snaps, like I said. Uh, he went in for relief causes uh, a couple of times during the season because uh, Uncle Lele wasn't faring too well during the game. So uh, Cade Clutton came in and – did what he, he had to do. But anyway, enough about him because he really ain't do nothing because he didn't get that much playing time. But when he got in there, he did his thing. He can spin the damn ball too, and that's fact. But anyway, talk about Will Shipley. That's basically who the offense run through. He can run. He can catch. He can do it either way. Will Shipley got over 1,100 yards rushing with 15 touchdowns on the ground, 221 yards through the air. All right, so like I say, he can run, he can catch it, plain and damn simple. Uh, for his, uh, your other running backs, uh, Phil Moffa, he's got 476 yards on the ground with four touchdowns, and then 47 through the air. Not much. Kobe Pace, 77 yards on the ground with six, no, with three touchdowns. So 77 yards on the ground with three touchdowns for Kobe Pace. Uh, Cave Clubman. He's got 88 yards on the ground and a touchdown. So, as far as this running game, it's basically Will Shipley. Nobody else. Nobody else. Plain and simple. Uh, since, you know, Angela Lele, he could he could run the daggone ball too because he got he ran it for 555 yards and seven touchdowns. He was their second leading rusher. Phil Moffa came in third with 476. So, Will Shipley and Phil Moffa is all they're going to have in this running game, and I think they're going to need more against Tennessee, even though Tennessee's defense is not that great. If you can't score with Tennessee, it is what it is, all right? Even though I'm going to talk, I'm gonna get to Tennessee, they're going to be missing some key players, and you can believe that. But anyway, uh, as far as this receiving, <laughs> this receiving core of, uh, of, of, of Clemson's, it ain't that good. Okay, your, your leading receiver is Antonio Williams, and uh, he's got 563 yards, four touchdowns. Uh, next up, you got Ngata. He's I think he's the best receiver with uh, 442 yards and a touchdown. Uh, who else you got? Davis Allen with 394 yards, five touchdowns. Mm, mm, mm. Bo Collins, 373 yards and five touchdowns. Bremen Stu, 256 yards and four touchdowns. And then Spectre with 195 yards and two touchdowns. But you got one guy, one other guy with over 100 yards receiving, but he has no touchdowns. And anybody else, irrelevant, irrelevant. This offense of Clemson's, it's not that good. It could have been because of Angula Lele. But hey, we'll see what Cade Clubman is going to do. See if he can make it any better. All right, because... Angela Lele, he missed throws that he should have made. He done had some wide open receivers where he overthrew them or just put the ball in the wrong spot. Plain and dang on simple. 
I'm going to lay lay. Some games, like he was looking like the best quarterback in college football. Other games, the worst quarterback in college football. He was he was so inconsistent. It's a damn shame. So, oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, as far as Clemson and his defense, <laughs> uh, so they got 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 interceptions on the season, and they have – Two, four, six, eight fumble recoveries. They can cause they can they can cause turnovers, but will they cause turnovers in in this game? I think they'll get a couple. That's just my opinion. Being that uh, Tennessee has lost, you know, some key guys as far as want to end in the draft, so they should have waited. That's my thing. Now I guess they figured a bowl game just ain't worth it. Well, I can totally agree. But anyway. Uh, that's 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 what this defense did for, for as far as turnovers. Uh, they got several sacks though, eight, ten, thirteen, mm, nineteen, twenty-three, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, mm, thirty-one, thirty-three, thirty-five. So that's thirty-five sacks. That they ain't even counting the half sacks. So that would be thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Mm. 39. So that's 39 sacks on the season for Clemson's defense. So we'll see if they can do that in this game. I think they'll get a couple of turnovers. I think they'll get a couple of sacks on Tennessee. All right? Just my opinion. I don't like Clemson at all because that's who I wanted to play. I wanted to play either one of these teams. So my Alabama Crimson Tide can get some revenge on them. That's just it. But anyway, let's talk about these Tennessee balls, which we know they were down Hen and Hooker. Hendon Hooker went down with a knee injury, so he won't be playing. So uh, they'll be going with Joe Milton, which Joe Milton is not a, a bad quarterback in my opinion. He got a damn arm too. He can sling it, and he can run it. But anyway, but uh, he done passed for 720 yards and seven touchdowns, zero interceptions. So he can do his thing, man. Jabari Small, okay, 699 yards, 12 touchdowns. Uh, he got 106 yards through the air with two touchdowns, so he scored 14 touchdowns. Jalen Wright, I don't think he'll be playing. I think he uh, opted opted out of this game and want to get ready for the draft, which I understand. So that was that was their top receiver this this season. Uh, Cedric Tillman, he was hurt for most of the season. I think he also opted out for this game and getting ready for the draft. But Jalen Hyatt is the one that they'll be missing, being that Cedric Tim was out most of the season anyway. Because Jalen Hyatt, he was, he was a prolific receiver for them this year. But uh, they won't have him. All right? We don't need to talk about Henry Nooker. Dylan Sampson. He got 397 yards rushing. Uh, six touchdowns. All right? Uh, oh, I'm talking about Jalen Hyatt. I'm thinking about Jalen Wright. Well, Jalen Hyatt, that's the one. He won't be with him. But Jalen Wright, he's got 786 yards and 10, 10 touchdowns rushing. All right? So they will have him. All right? And I think he'll do his thing, too. Uh, no Hendon Hooker. We ain't talking about him. All right, let's get to these receivers. Jalen Hyatt will not be there. Plain and simple. Uh, then you got Cedric Tillman will not be there. Key players. But you got Ramal Keaton, 486 yards, four touchdowns. Uh, other than him, <laughs> nobody else. Well, you got Jacob Warren, 163 yards, no touchdowns. Walker Merrill, 116 yards, three touchdowns. And Jim, Jim Holiday, 106 yards with one touchdown. So this re receiving court going to look a lot different for Tennessee. Can they do? what they've been doing. Your receiving core is different. Your quarterback is different. You got the same running back. You got the same offensive line. But your but but double that going uh skill positions wide receiver wise. I don't know your quarterback. I like Joe Milton. But we'll see what he can do. You know, starting against a pretty good team, which I don't think Clemson Clemson is all right. They ain't the best. They ain't the best. I can tell you that.
But I think they all right. I think they can compete with this Tennessee team. Now, if Tennessee had Jalen Hyatt, Cedric Tillman, Hannon Hooker, hell no, I don't think Clemson would even be able to, able to even compete. But being that they don't, I think Clemson will give y'all a run for y'all money, Tennessee. And guess what, Tennessee? I think Clemson going to beat y'all. And I don't want to hear, well, we didn't have this person. We didn't have that person. Okay? Clemson without some players, too. So, uh, don't know I don't want to hear that damn excuse, Tennessee fans. If you lose, trust me, I'm coming for you. You can believe it. You can believe that, Tennessee fans. You lose, I'm coming for you again. So I'm going to give you my, my daggone uh, uh, score prediction. Clemson. Oh, I already got it rolled down. Clemson. Clemson. Uh, we're going to give Clemson. Hmm, what are we going to give Clemson? What should I give Clemson? I'm going to give him 33 points. Yes, I am. Tennessee, what should I give you? I think I'm going to give you 33. I'll give you 24. I'll be nice. All right. Clemson, 33. Tennessee, 24. That's my final answer, and I'm sticking with it. I hope you prove me wrong, Tennessee, because I got something for you if you don't roll damn tight.